Okay, so this is this is week two of December Daily, and uh, before I forget, uh, on day seven, I couldn't remember what this line was, and a lot of these things are from a line called Sweet Peppermint, and something like a guy named Frank Garcia or whatever, but if you looked up Sweet Peppermint, you could find these little embellishments, and then this is from Hobby Lobby, which I think I might have said last time, so anyway, and there's just some glitter paper from also from Hobby Lobby. So, on day eight, um, I just did some snowflake paper, and I did like... Lots of random things. We went to see the White Christmas, and so like this little letter is um, one from Tim Holtz, and then this is just a letter from Hobby Lobby. These are from Little Michaels. There were some clear. Um, this is from one of the Ellie Edward kits. The snowflake is from Hobby Lobby. I mean, these are just like little pieces in my stash in this case. This is a Heidi Swap number that I had kept, and then I made a little tag. So we went to see the White Christmas, my mom, my aunt, my cousin, and I, and made this just a little tag, and I took a picture of one of the little dessert things, and then just did a little bit of writing about it, and it just t tucks right back in there, and, um... You know, it's one of those things that um, this was one of the pages I was most looking forward to doing. And um, it's, yeah, it's not my favorite page, but I'm just not going to be critical of myself. So um, I will say that one time, and then I won't say it anymore. So here, oh my gosh, this line. So this was a page that I was not anticipating liking too much, but I ended up loving it. And so this is a line called Snow and Cocoa by Cartabella. And um, a lot of this stuff I ended up getting on scrapbook.com. Um, because they, they have current lines and past lines, and um, I've just found a lot of success there. So it came, I bought some chipboard, which these guys are, and this was part of a set. This ribbon is from Hobby Lobby, and this was from the um, Allie Edwards kit. Just um, wanted to cover that little staple up. And then on the back, I ended up just typing up about the day, and then just putting two lines of gold to kind of go with some of the gold that I had. And then I had already made this. I knew this would be a busy day. Um, we went to see this really amazing um, Christmas show. If you live anywhere near Dallas area. It's uh, The Gift of Christmas by Preston Wood. And so I knew I would have a lot of pictures. Because we were going to the Christmas show. We are going out to dinner. We going to look at lights. So I knew I'd have a lot of pictures. So I wanted to try one of the 12 by 12. But um, I ended up just kind of... Some of these are on the outside of the envelope. And then some of them are on the inside. So I ended up really loving it. Um... I don't know. I just like it. So, um, I think I'm just obsessed with a line. And it's funny because anytime I use, if I like a line this much, I'm going to go like buy more of it because I use that. <laughs> I'm like, no, 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 you're going to get bored. They'll have cute stuff next year, I promise. So, um, this is a lot of uh, the Allie Edwards kit stuff. I did find this one card that's like a little flash card that I thought was so adorable. And I used, um, this was a number from Michael's and this was a card, but the rest of it's all things from the Allie Edwards kits, and um, so this was just about Sunday, just kind of a simple Sunday, and instead of writing up a whole bunch about it, um, I had this Bible verse that was part of the kit, and then um, this was just a little note from the um, sermon, uh, just as he is Lord over the Christmas story, he is Lord over my life, and they were just talking about all the details of the Christmas story and how they have to come together to like just really fulfill all of God's promises, and if like God can work this elaborate of a story together. I mean, I can take comfort in the fact that he has every piece of my story as well written as a Christmas story. And so, and also just a reminder about, like, his miraculous workings um, through the Christmas story. So, more important than me, obviously. But, so I love this little chipboard embellishment. I took a picture of the outside of my church. And then I did it black and white to kind of go with that whole theme. So, then this day... I can't decide on these little things if I want to like paper clip them so that, that when you open them they naturally go with their order. But this was all about at school we did the Polar Express. And so I tied a little silver bell right there and so he just peeks out. And then I took a quote from the movie and I found this this picture online. I just blew it up and I... Um, uh, though I've grown old, the bell still rings for me as it does for all who truly believe. And if you have never seen the Polar Express, I don't care how old you are. It is the best movie ever. So we got all the kids together. We sat them in front of the movie and we watched it in the cafeteria. They brought their blankets and their pillows and they wore their pajamas. And then afterwards, I had given the bells for each of the teachers to put on their desk. And then the PTA came and helped serve hot chocolate. So it was just really fun. And so this card, um, I got this in one of those kits, one of those... Um, Project Life kits um, that they have like at Michael's or Hobby Lobby or any of those places and then these little embellishments here's a little tiny bell, a little rhinestone 
little, um, I just had those somewhere in the stash. I don't think they're anything you can't find. And so, um, I just found, these are from that same little kit that I got. I just got all the silver and black little embellishments. And so, North Pole Overnight, here the kids are watching it. I want to take the back of their heads, even though it's okay for me to have that photo. Um, it's not okay for me to share that online for their safety. And so, I always try to take so you can see the experience. So I decorated a cart that looked like a little train and then we wheeled it up and down the hall with all the, you can kind of see the hot chocolate in the back. And so, and then in the afternoon, so we had them watch in two parts, K through two watch in the morning, three through six in the afternoon, in, in the afternoon. So in the afternoon I went and read to some of the little um, classes and I read them how to catch an elf and then I hid an elf somewhere in the classroom and the kids went and found it and got to keep it and then I just wrote about it right there. So that goes in the envelope, which I will put back in later. Um, this is probably my favorite page. Um, I love this paper. Um, this was by My Mind's Eye, and it's called Oh What Fun. Oh, I can't believe I remember that. So, um, it had, I got some chipboard and some paper, just a few pieces of paper. And, um, this was an embellishment, I think also maybe from that. Added little buttons, added some of one of the cork numbers from Ellie Edwards, and I had, I had this peak tag and I didn't like it, tried to peel the cork number up, cause, um, and it wouldn't come up without ripping. So then I went back and did some little dots. And then on this one, um, at this bag I had received in like an Etsy order, and they had just given me a couple extra things in the bag, and I saved it. And that's where I'm like, you can't save everything, Christy. But I was like, see, it's a good thing I saved that because it worked out perfect. Oh, okay, so on this day, I did my last, I do craft segment on Good Morning Texas um, about once or twice a month. And so I did my last one for the day. So I took a, just a couple of photos behind the scenes, did a little bit of uh, journaling, and um, I did two segments on that day. Um, I was supposed to do one segment and then post tape one for uh, the week of Christmas, but someone ended up canceling, so I did both of them live. So that's been an interesting experience. Um, not anything I sought out, but something I've enjoyed over, it's been seven years now. So this is not in a page protector. And I really think like, as I've been working through this album, um, I'm figuring out what I really like. And I think I like this a lot more than these page protectors all the time. So I'm going to definitely, if I do this next year, I'm going to do more of things like this because I really enjoyed um, this. Okay, yesterday. I had jury duty, Ugh. so I was not looking forward to that. I did do a couple things, and I just kind of did little sentences about it. Um, went to look at Christmas lights, and I um, took a nap when I got home, um, but it was just a lot of waiting, so um, I just I cut out Bah Humbug, welded it together on my Cricut, and then on the back I had taken a picture of the courthouse, and then I just put one of those seasons of stories. It's definitely a story. Um, I won't share it on a public site, but it was it was an interesting day. But I am glad I wasn't selected. I was on a panel, and they said a lot of court. So, and then today's so um, <laughs> swear I need like some therapy because this is a line by October after afternoon. It's actually a couple different lines. If you just Google October afternoon, you can find um, some of these still available. I found these on Etsy. Some people are still selling them, but they have shut their doors, and so I'm so sad about that because I love 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 everything that they do so I took some paper and I just sliced it I just wanted it to be a different side I wanted different dimensions and stuff and I took there was a one little tag thing I took a tag from one of their lines and added another one of those cork dots and then I actually added some chipboard I don't think you can see it from one of the Allie Edwards things like like some scrap chipboard and I put it there so it raised up a little bit and then I added this little presents tag which was also from an October afternoon I just got some stickers and paper then I just talked about, I've been kind of wrapping a little bit at a time, and um, just talked about today I finished up, added the tags, added some ribbons, and I'm really almost done, though I have one gift that's missing somewhere in my closet that I need to find. Um, so other than that, though, it's finally under the tree, and I think this is like the latest it's ever been. So that is week two, and like I said, I really enjoyed this week probably more even then last week, just because I'm kind of figuring out what my style is, it's my first time to do December Daily. And um, so uh, that is it for now. And then I've just kind of marked off and I've been changing it up a little bit, you know, what my plans are um, based on what's going on. Sometimes I don't know and sometimes I do. So, um, and I, as much as possible, like if I can, like I'll kind of prep the page the day before if I have time. So um, I've been doing it day to day, which I've been loving and looking forward to. In fact, it's like 
taken a hold of my life where it's like, oh, sorry, I'm not going to start, I have another half marathon in March, and I've decided I'm not going to start training until next week when I'm not in work, because I don't want it to interfere with my December daily time, so, um, anyway, um, been super fun, so, uh, there it is, I'll be back next week.